welcome back to my channel i hope you get tons of motivation uh you guys have been waiting for this video it's finally here me cleaning and decorating now before we start i'm gonna let you know right now this video is not fancy like you normally see on youtube decorating like so crazy and expensive stuff but i still hope you enjoy this video you guys normally don't see me clean this restroom often on camera but trust me off camera i have to clean it all the time it's just today i decided to show you and i really the reason i started to even clean is because i saw my micro drawer and i was like whoa you gotta clean this out so i'm like this is too much you ain't that nasty so <laughs> here i am focusing on the areas of the toilet and once i'm done with the makeup you will see what i mean about life a few days ago i noticed that my videos are time last for the most part like when i do videos it's just like in this speed this fast mode so now my question is do you guys want me to be cleaning and doing cleaning videos in normal speed or or you guys are just used to the way I used to do it I don't know I think it's a great question so I'm looking forward for the answer normally never show this either like I'm always cleaning windows it's just a thing of me like I had to make sure there's no dust or webs because I am terrified of spiders and if I see one I won't kill it I will get out of the house and wait for my husband to go home <laughs> so that's why I'm always at the windows and the doors and I just can't even stand the fact of just thinking of a spider to keep it nice and clean not freak out and cause a scene i try to hold it together keep it together not show who i really am just be cute and super bland i try to hold it together so i noticed that denzel had the bag of cheetos before anybody tries to even comment or mom shake me that bag is empty and he's just trying to lick the powder out of it <laughs> I do not give him hot Cheetos. Sometimes he steal them, but you know, just letting you know and throwing it out there. As soon as I was done with the restroom, I realized that he was tired. It was time for his nap and I had to move on. I had to keep going on cleaning the other bathroom because I had to take advantage of that time when he's asleep. I be able to do so much more when you know he's taking his nap but I had to go back in my room and I didn't film it this time but I sure did clean the heck out of it <laughs> all the fun of yesterdays but I'm gonna hold it together I don't know how many times I had to organize this thing I at this at this point i'm like used to it but i had to keep up with it because if i don't then my husband loses everything and he's asking me where is this thing at you know and somehow they always blame you <laughs> A lot of you guys have suggested for me to do this and switch it out for me to be able to clean faster and just work smarter not harder 
and I finally listened and you're gonna see me here sending it up I I'm not the type of girl that waits on the husband because they take forever sometimes and I'm always like uh have you done it yet have you done it yet so I just I just do it on my own every time anything has to do with the house I try it if I can't then I turn to my husband I don't know I think it's fun and then at the end of the day you're just like oh yeah I did it thanks hun thanks also I wish it was on camera like you can hear the sound because I was cracking up this thing I had it backwards <laughs> you live and you learn and oh my goodness I'm so happy that I have that now because it's so much easier to clean you guys are always right oh my god I had I should have listened a long time ago now I'm here scrubbing the tile because it really had to really be so deep clean in a way I put a little bit of Dawn soap and Clorox because I don't know I just hate to see like the residue after you shower where it just like those raindrops and I don't like it and I was like it really needs it so that's what I was doing Now I'm going to take um, the Daily Shower by Method, Clorox, and my Magic Eraser. Now you guys are going to see me use the Magic Erasers everywhere. I have uh, two in the bathroom, I have two in the kitchen, and I have one or two for the pantry and the living room. I love those things. They work amazing and that's why I have it for every single spot. How do you guys clean your bathroom? Like, do you have to do it in a specific way all the time? And what is that one product that you cannot live without when it comes to cleaning the bathroom? For me, for sure, it has to be Clorox. I have to at least put a little bit of it. Since I still don't know how to work with this uh, shower thing, the water splash everywhere and I just take advantage of it and just really scrub the floor down which it was really really nasty and I was so surprised in that it ended up mopping me like two times and oh my goodness what a difference. Now that the bathroom is squeaky clean, I decided to iron the curtain for it because I kept on washing it and the dryer and it just would not take the lines down. So I was like, you know what? You're messing with Salma.
time to decorate the bathroom so i promise you that these are straight it just my phone was crooked when i put it against the wall so <laughs> so if you guys are interested where i got these things where i actually made it myself and if you haven't seen that video it's gonna be here on the top right and the i card for you to check it out also i made this and it was a day or two days later after i posted that video which is just a vase from Flamin Lawler and then a prayer girl can and it was super easy the fake plant i got it from hobby lobby two years ago it was like a dollar something and i just recreated that and since i have mentioned in my previous video that i'm so into the mustard color lately i want to work myself up for it like i don't want to just buy all things at once for the mustard color so i just decided to incorporate a little bit of fall but then i still have a mustard on the side <laughs> and you now probably are wondering why doesn't she buy any of those blinds well guys i just do not want to invest in this house because one it's not my house and i'm renting it and my lease is almost over so i really don't plan to live here another year because this house is destroying itself you will later see in the video what i'm talking about like the way they made it is not even right everything is falling apart the camera does not pick up on a lot of things so yeah and i'm the one who has to be fixing layer little things and i'm just like i'm not wasting money for it if the landlord doesn't want to fix it then i don't either you know and this is me putting the home sign which i also created in the diy video just in case you haven't seen it love it oh my goodness that's me posing for it yes <laughs> okay so the couch was really dirty and i'll explain why and here's Denzel scare the vacuum which is funny because when he was younger like a baby he used to sleep with the vacuum on all night so it's kind of funny to see now that he's just terrified of it so i'm over here taking him to her daddy's <laughs> so um the couch i have not deep cleaned it it's about to be a month and it's bad I do want to well I do plan on doing a like whole house deep clean with me so I'm just picking up the crumbs and yes my kids sometimes do eat on the couch I eat myself on the couch as well we just eat dinner and lunch and breakfast at you know the table but you know snacks when it comes to movies and stuff like that we do eat snacks here so don't come for me you know nobody's perfect <laughs> this is me here putting my pillows and also I'm gonna put this table mats I think this is what they're called I'm using my new favorite clinic vinegar amazing if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it Okay, so I mentioned in my previous video that I desperately want and need a vacuum and my hubby is getting me one. <laughs> what? I'm so happy and so excited. Can't wait to get it. A lot of you asked me why can I get some? Well, you guys, you have a lot to pay. We have student loans. We have to go to court in a couple of days. Like life, it's crazy when it hits you. So it's just not easy to just buy things when I want. I wish I could, but you know, that's why I take care of the stuff that I have, even if it's the cheapest thing, because I really don't take anything for granted. I'm so blessed. doors are always so dirty because of my one-year-old of course and 
Uh, that's why I want to deep clean this house because the walls, the walls everywhere are just so dirty. And when I see it, I clean it. But sometimes I miss a spot. I'm just like, ooh, I can't wait to get you. Time to decorate the little entryway, my entryway. So I got that frame from Dollar Tree and those little flower bouquet. I got it at Didi's, like for two dollars. And that camera is my favorite because it describes me what I do, and it's so cute. Which I got it at Ross. Tell me, this is so cute. My decor is not a lot, but you can tell that I want it to decor for fall. And since you're gonna ask why is that all there? Because the word in Spanish today is otoño. Otoño, which it means fall. Now this right here, I made it when I made that vase as well, which is an old, old disc. How crazy is that? And the circle thing around, like the wood, was actually from a garage sale, so it's beautiful. Now I'm taking out the blue flowers and I'm gonna put the orange color so it can just pop and know that I decorated you know just like putting the cherry on top Now I'm gonna quickly wipe down the windows and put the frames back where they were and clean the table and put the table runner, which I got at Target, I believe for $3. And my hubby, my husband picked it out. So he has a good taste, don't you think? So you guys, I have been thinking of painting this table, but I really need the money to get the stuff I need for it so I'm gonna start saving up for it so I'll be able to do that and share the video with you guys to see how I did it I can't wait to give this table a new life and I'm gonna put this little frame that I just created as well it's a little simple but it's there and I'm gonna quickly just wash the dishes which Sometimes I do show it in my videos, but not a lot because I don't want you guys to get bored because everybody washes, you know, dishes daily. And as I was washing the dishes, I noticed that Denzel dropped a ball under the stove. And I'm like, I wonder if this stove comes out because there's some stoves that they don't. And since I rent this place, I did not know. And this thing comes off, you guys. And what I found was not pretty and that's how i found out that this house the way the cabinets are even set up oh my goodness i was like how they even do this you know like it's crazy if you want to know the product that i have been using lately I also have a video for that and it's gonna be in the top right just for you did you guys like my little basket I also made it on the DIY and I use it as the I use it as a storage for my oil, my essential oils and my dish soap which is kind of cute it gives it a little pop as well um, I'm putting some extra leaves where my plants go just give me that vibe I love fall you guys I wish I could decorate more but the same time it's not really worth it for me because my one year grabs everything and it's just not gonna last so not yet at least not yet until he's just older in school favorite part I love to clean the sink you guys but you guys already know that and I have been missing my Mrs. Meyer baking soda cream cleaner they no longer carry it at Target you have to order it online and every time I have some extra couple of bucks to buy it I forget until I clean the sink and I'm just like oh should I order it so next time I am going to remind myself to buy it because I miss it so much that's a holy grail for sure
Now, I got all this blue and white towels, like a 10 pack, I believe, at Big Loss. It was for $3.99. They're on sale. So if you need some, go ahead and get yours before they're gone. And I put that one colorful one from Dollar Tree. And this is me taking out. <laughs> wow. Disgusting. I didn't even know how to clean it at first. I was like, what am I going to use? So I decided to use an old shirt. And it turned out well. It's not the deepest clean ever, but it is something. And when I do that deep clean video, I'm going to really focus on this area because it's like I left it halfway and that's not okay with me. I have to know that for sure it's completely clean, but I tried. Time to put the last piece. Oh goodness, I love it. It's very simple and I'm sure I can relate to a lot of you guys because not a lot of people have money to spend like that in holidays because we're focusing to get, you know, stuff for our loved ones. So if you got this far, you guys, oh, you're amazing. Make sure you like this video and share it with your friends. I love you guys. You guys mean a lot. A lot. And God bless you. everyone so that was the video for today and it might seem like it's not a lot but trust me it was a lot and I am very tired I wanted to do more but I can't you know I had to make dinner I had to shower I had to shower the kids I had to edit the video and all that stuff takes time but if you made it this far I really appreciate it I hope you really like my video it's not the best or fancy like the ones out there but that's what makes it special because I did everything. So that's it, guys. I'll see you and catch you on my next one. Bye.